Mike, uh, how do you feel? You feel like you're up and ready to go here? It's been quite a, a little bit of a stretch here. I feel like I had like a two and a half month uh, Christmas break. So um, obviously unfortunate last week being off, uh, but um, you know, I feel like I'm close enough where I need to get in the game now. You're a competitor. And how hard was this for you? Given a couple times, it looked like you got pretty close to getting back here. Yeah, it's 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 honestly been one of the most difficult uh, injuries in my career. That it's not like it's been life-threatening by any means, but it's it just been a nagging thing that's uh, um, you know just kept me from being able to do what I need to do, and and uh, that's been the most frustrating part. Is like you said, I've been been close a few times and had setbacks and not felt you know myself and. Um, I'm to the point now where it's, it's not perfect either, but uh, nothing's been perfect throughout the course of my career, so it's just something else I have to deal with, and, and hopefully I can come back in the lineup and, and play some good hockey. So were the setbacks, did something sort of happen that made it a little worse on practices, or was it just like, okay, maybe it was worse than we thought to begin with? Uh, a little bit of both, I think. I think it's, uh, you know, had, had a second opinion on it and made sure I had you know, crossed out all the boxes and made sure there wasn't anything more significant than, you know, it actually was and got some answers there. And then, you know, it seemed like it, uh, the more I pushed it, kind of the worse it got, less time, the more time I took off, it got a little better, came back, you know, got worse. So it was kind of, it was, uh, it was a finicky thing and, and something that, uh, like I said, I haven't really dealt with. I've had injuries where you kind of know a timeline as far as when you're going to be back. And that was the hardest thing with this one is, is kind of, there wasn't any, that didn't feel like there was an end in sight, so it was obviously frustrating. But saying that, you know, I, I'm fortunate to have, you know, family, kids, and um, it was a lot easier to deal with it when you're going home and you're be being able to see your kids play hockey and and do stuff like that too. So I think it's uh, it wasn't all bad, but it was obviously, you know, it's been disappointing not being in the lineup and not being able to help the team. But uh, I'm back at it now, and hopefully, I can push forward and not look back. So what do you think of the work of the other? I mean. They went 16 and 11 with basically the second and third string goalies. I mean, what do you think of the work of Koski? And yeah, I mean, both guys. Miko played, you know, played really well. Um, Skins has come up and and you know really established himself as you know an NHL goaltender. And um, you know they both have when they've gone in there have played really well and gave the team a chance to win. And and uh, obviously had a little slide there, but I think that adversity will help us in the long run. So I think hopefully. You know, getting some guys back here healthy and, and uh, you know, hopefully this whole COVID stuff will somewhat get behind us and we can, you know, push forward and look forward to a playoff run. Does the, did the injury at the time seem harmless? It didn't look like much to me. To be honest, it was, it was something I was, I was dealing with for, you know, a little bit of time now and it just got to the point where I couldn't, you know, couldn't play the way I needed to play and it was, it was starting to, you know, that third game, it was just starting to affect the way I was, was able to move around. So. Um, you know, I had to make a call and it wasn't like I couldn't play. It was just more that I couldn't play up to the capabilities that I needed to play. And I was playing, um, you know, I wasn't giving myself the best chance to play well either. So I was just trying to push through it and it got to the point where it just, it wasn't allowing me to do that. So there was a setback a month and a half ago or so when you flew back to Edmonton during that road trip. Is that even more frustrating than kind of deciding you needed a little time there at the beginning of the year? Yeah, I mean, because I was I was planning on playing maybe in Boston at that point, and I was kind of pushing forward, and and then it just something didn't feel right still. So I, was, I knew something wasn't quite where it needed to be, and like I said, I didn't want to get back in the situation where I, I come back for a game or two and I'm back out of the lineup. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully I just need to get into a game now and see how it reacts, and and I feel like I'm I'm close enough to that point where. I've done enough work in practice where I just need to get into a game and 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 you know kind of see how it goes. Your puck handling skills won't be a problem. It's like riding a bike for you. The puck handling skills. Yeah, I mean, I, no one ever wants to be out long, for a long period of time, and I'm no different. But uh, you know, that part of it is something that it does take a little bit of time to get the timing back, but um, it doesn't it doesn't all go away. So I think once I get into a game, it'll be. I'm sure it'll just come come back to natural. Just to clarify, do you think you, you can go as early as tomorrow? You feel like that's, uh, I'm available, yeah. so we'll see uh, see what coach has to say. But yeah, I'll be available for tomorrow and be on the road trip. And like I said, pushing forward here and hopefully not looking back. This is the longest you've been out with an injury in the, in the season. Uh, no, no, I've had a couple surgeries 
that have put me out. So it's, it's not like I haven't been injured before and, and came back from something. It's just like I said, it, this one was way more finicky than the ones before. The ones before had a timeline to them, kind of. Or, or this one, it just seemed like it, it, it has lingered on more than, more than uh, before. And, and uh, a part of the body where it's, it's, it's needed in every movement. So it's, uh, it's pretty important. So, um, yeah, it's been obviously frustrating, but excited to get back. Was it a groin then, or did you say what it was? No, not a groin. Good try, though. You guys going to keep guessing? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. So, you get, I mean, you can throw it all the anatomy you want. But I just wonder, Mike, you, you know, you said it was something that was bothering you, but your first two games and into the next one were, were pretty good. Do you really feel like you, you can kind of get right back where you picked up, even though you said even now that you're not, it's not perfectly? Yeah, like I said, it's just getting back in the game shape and getting, but the only way to do that is to play, you know, is to play games and, and you know the timing, the reads, and everything. All you know, it'll come back. Like it's not like it's it's gone away. So it's just it's it's just getting back in the game. Being out a long time is is not necessarily ideal, but it's something that I've done before, and and you know came back from played well. But yeah, I felt like the two first two games of the year was real solid. You know, I was dealing with it then, but it wasn't affecting the way I was playing. And the third game, it, it got to the point where, you know, I, I wasn't moving very well. So it was just. It was unfair to, the, to to me and and the team by trying to play through it at that point. And uh, like I said, hopefully that's all behind me now. It's, been a bit of you. It's, it's almost like coming out of training camp now. You've been done for two months, and now I'm ready to go. It's an 82 game season, and sometimes you get worn down playing a lot of games. Like yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. I think you can look at it like that. Obviously, there's positives to it, but I think uh, you know, just getting back in the rhythm of things is what I, what it, what I need right now. It's just it's just. Uh, like I said, the, the, being in the games and, uh, you know, being around the guys has been nice because I was, you know, when you're away from the team for that long, it feels like you're disconnected from the team and you're not doing much to help them um, when stuff's going well or when, you know, when we were in a little bit of the slide there. So um, nice to be, be around the boys again and, and show face and be out there competing and battling and, and hopefully uh, this injury is behind me. What do you see when you're watching the games in the press box as a goalie? Yeah, you know what? I. For the first while there, I wasn't watching many from the press box, more on TV in the room and stuff. And but as it got towards the end, I started to watch more uh, from up top. And um, you know, obviously, stuff slows down quite a bit when you're watching from you know that far away. So uh, there's always little things to uh, to learn and to tweak. And um, hopefully, you know, you have an, an impact on on uh, on your team that way and just you know trying to help guys out as much as possible and and still be a leader and and uh, you know when times were going a little rough there you know I think it was important to you know be a positive influence to the guys and and uh, understand the world's not coming to an end here even though it feels like it sometimes and and uh, you know turn it around as fast as possible so we got her back on track now and I think guys are you know had a little bit of a break here and now we're back at it. What did you see from Skinner? To, you, know, you just said he looks like he's an NHL goalie. What did you see from him to make that? Sense? Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen a huge change in his game since uh, since a year ago now. So I think it's uh, he's got a composure to himself now. He seems like he's moving less and, and in position a lot more. Um, he's letting pucks come to him, and uh, you know he's competing out there. And the games he's played, he's been really solid. And, and like I said, give the team a chance to win. Um, you know, early on there, he wasn't getting the success. You know, the team maybe wasn't as playing as well as you know we were we were early in the season. But that wasn't out of uh, you know lack of goaltending. I think Skinny was playing real well there and just wasn't getting the results. But you just got to stick with it, and he has, and he's had a good attitude, and you see it in practice. His work ethic now has, has uh, gotten to a level where it needs to be as far as being an NHL goalie, and I think you can really see it in his eyes that he believes that now, and and uh, it's shown on the ice for sure.